What are you drinking? Some tea? I thought it looked like tea. That's where I've, that's where I've gone now. It used to be tequila and tequila. now it's just tea. Huh. Teas get pretty crazy. You have a favorite? I like to know that there's a Harney tea. It's fa- I mean, in this area. Yeah, I've heard of it. They, they have their factory and 10 minutes away and they have their and we do uh, we do the we don't do bags. That's the next the next level is you get the the loose sleeves. Yeah, that you can put the leaf in the thing and you put the hot water. It tastes oh, really? so it tastes so much better. For sure. Yeah, I don't think I've had a drink in almost two months now. Oh, really? Crazy. Yeah, because all these medicines I've been on. Because <laughs> you're gonna die if you do. Yeah, this is. Well, they tell me not to. I mean, some. No, I don't think anymore. I think I could do one tonight, but I'm gonna hold off for the special Christmas episode. You get loaded on eggnog for next week. Cool. I did. I did run. They did. You did get fresh. No, oh, get... they had some really good eggnog, and I drank too. I had a belly ache. I drank too. It was like this fresh farm that's local and it was really tasty and I had like two big glasses of it that's not smart I made my own eggnog 25 it was a lot it was when I was still in Connecticut I remember that was for Christmas I was like I want to try to make my own and you have to I forget what all goes into it it was good it's not as it wasn't which I like or I think and especially now if I were to try it it was like not as sweet it was like Mm. a a little more like creamy and had a little more texture to it like eggnog's pretty good in the store, and you spend it's not that expensive. And then if it took like a long time to make it, you're like, yeah, is it worth it? But maybe not. You like, I mean, you guys were doing your I like dances uh, and yeah, yeah, doing your eggnog stuff. I was smack- what was I doing? Now, why did you say I was? Were you, yeah, you smacked your mom's ass or something like. We were tickle, a little week. tickle, gave her a little. Tickle. Yeah, why would I do I that? Say you little- smack your mom's ass. I didn't. Say well, that. even a tickle is a little. I mean, you guys are just getting like your. Laughing and you're like, hee, give her a little tickle. You ever had a tickle fight with your mom? No, Jared. No, I mean you're not allowed to say it. I know, but you've definitely done it. I've never had a tickle. No, dude, I would admit that. I don't know. I wonder if I would admit that. (laughs) I don't know if I would admit it if I did, but I have never had a. uh... So we'll never know. (laughs) Right, you'll never know. We'll have to have your mom on and ask her. If she and I have ever had a tickle fight, maybe, yeah. maybe when I was like three, I was a huge tickle fighter. I don't it's know. probably an age. I don't know. Brennan will come up now and he'll want me to tell him he's 11. There's an age where he'll hit. He won't want me to touch him. He'll be like, yeah. get away from me. Mine was like two and a half. Yeah. You were very like, get the fuck away. Just let me matured. do, just let me do my thing, mom. I'm sure you weren't. Enough with probably. these tickle, these tickle fights are probably give you, we you give your mom a hug and kiss when you see her. No, I guess I kiss my mom. Do I? Okay, yeah, lips so I mean, or cheek? What do you yeah, mean? big time. My tongue. My <laughs> tongue. I wasn't go in. being gross. I go I'm in just... for the real thing. No, uh, I think cheek. I don't know. Maybe I don't really kiss. I mean, it's not like I haven't, but I don't think we kiss every time we see each other. Maybe we mm. do. She probably kisses me, so I probably kiss. A little peck on the lips. I think that's right. Yeah. How about your dad? I can see your dad being tongue. a big kisser. Yeah, squeezes my ass. <laughs> loves it. He's a touchy guy. Oh, yeah. So this week... We're on Saturday night in the mag room. All around the world you can hear them. Hey, hey, hey. Talking about using kind of funny stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Mag room. Mag room. The mag room. The mag room. Next week, I don't know, we won't be on Saturday night, because that's Christmas Eve. <clears throat> yeah. But we will have an episode, a special Christmas episode. So what's in store? Do you know? Do you have any idea? I mean, no mm. one really listens to us in real time, mm. so it won't matter, but... <laughs> well, uh, we haven't really ironed it out. You're supposed to be. We're talking about... Yes, we are having Santa Claus himself on the show next <laughs> nice. week. We're going to interview him. I mean, maybe there'll be some... Christmas trivia? Huh? Oh, okay. Trivia. I do love, yeah, okay. Maybe some Christmas, uh, you sent me a cool article about some different ways Christmas is celebrated around the world. We'll open our presents. Um, I don't want to say too much. No, no, no. I I told you Michelle also got us something. 
She got one for me and one for you. Yours is in the box. I don't know what it is. It's arsenic. <laughs> She's going to poison both of them? <laughs> He's like, I've had enough of this damn this show. This is the dumbest show I've ever heard in my I've been life. Kill- the I've been only way. I'm trying to get him to quit just on his own, but... Been slowly killing Jared to try to get him off the show. Go. And now I'm going to do Mark as well. That would be a crazy unveil that if that all this sickness I had was because of that. Oh, yeah, like that little the little girl in the sixth sense. Remember that? Yeah. I'd probably quit. I mean, if she said, I'll stop poisoning you if you quit the show. I mean, I don't it know would, what I would do. I'd be a little probably angry that I got po- was getting poisoned. Would you bring it up in front of the kids? I, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. It'd you don't be, think that you should address that? Don't, you don't think your kids should know that you're what? Well, maybe if I don't think I'd start there, though. I wouldn't just like, everybody in the living room, we're hashing this <laughs> Mom, out. Mom's been poisoning me ever since January of last year. That would be huh. a big That would be a big thing to unpack with everybody there. So it's, I, wonder, I guess it's something that we get the same thing, right? Is that what it is? Maybe it's like, a, like you know how, remember the superheroes that had the rings they put together? Maybe you're going to get a ring oh. that says Mag and I'll have one that says Room. And it'll be like, when we together. touch rings, I become a fire something or other, and you become an ice something or so other. So I have to be the water? The water was only so lame. You want to be the fire? I'm a bucket of water. Why were there was one of them to turn into water. Like it's not. Yeah, Wonder Twins, and one twin was like, yeah, one was always like ice or, or water, and one was fire. Or yeah, I don't see how they, tape. they had to write. They had, probably in the writers' room, they're like, why the hell did we make her water? It's so hard to write ways for water to be effective <laughs> in this in, in getting rid of the. Let me guess. I'm becoming a tidal wave. This the bad episode. guy. Yeah, they had to freeze something. People would slip. But only, I mean, they, I'm sure there was more. There was That's a, a cruel way episodes. to kill somebody. Like, they'd freeze people to death. That's cruel. Well, no, one ever, no one ever died. It yeah, they'd freeze them in an ice cube. It was a kid's cartoon. You always had to show the person being fine and going to jail. Oh, just unfreezing them? Yeah. I think so. Maybe you should rewrite it now for Netflix. Like, bring it up to today where everybody Live. gets killed. and yeah. It's like water. She just waterboarding. That becomes yeah. her. <laughs> That'd be cool. And the fire guy just lights people on fire. I'm just trying to think of what a fire. Yeah, yeah. And it burns people alive. That would be. They'd be yeah. hardcore. Immolation, yeah. right? Isn't that what burning is? Yeah, they had to think of things that would take out the bad guy, but not in the like not what we just said, not like drowning yeah. them or burning <laughs> them. So it was like an interesting. I don't know what I would have picked sure they brainstormed for a while why can't you burn people alive because it's a kid's show i guess kids can't see yeah, people getting burned said. alive it's got to be in a way where the thing couldn't is... they couldn't they just do the screams the terrible screams and then pan, <laughs> from, pan away from, from the... off that's even worse I guess. <laughs> and just do like the crackling sounds of skin you burning don't know and what's stuff. happening jesus christ help me Um, anything else you got? Uh, somebody, do you, I, I, do you, I don't know what it's called, but when somebody says like a colloquialism, but gets one of the words wrong. Mm, so somebody was do that all the time. It was kind of a guy sort of trying to flirt with a girl. And I forget what he did. Uh, she did. She, she, like, she had something in her purse that he had a light. She had a lighter. I forget what it was, but what he wanted to say was you never cease to amaze me mm. but, but what he did say was you never seem to amaze me <laughs> I, so I burst into laughter and nobody else knew what I was laughing at and I thought of you I just thought of uh, do, do you hear those things and <laughs> nice. remember anyone you never seem to what amaze happened me at the end? Did you get, like, <laughs> beat up or something or? no no it was a girl and a guy that was smaller than me I was fine I was, Did you uh, have to explain it to them? No, or? no, I didn't want to. I, I, I just said, I'm, I don't know, I'm sorry. I just, that, that just made me laugh. I just looked like a weirdo. No, yeah. Even. That was like last week. And then. Um, what if he really meant it? Like you <laughs> just, well, that's, that's, a, I, yeah. You, you never fuck, seem to amaze me. You got a fucking pen in your purse. That doesn't amaze yeah. me. And then somebody today uh, said, I, I was my FedEx driver. She said, um, she was like, uh, run, you know, just talking about running, running, running this time of year. Uh, and then, you know, people get calling me back, blah, blah, blah. 
And I said something like, um, you know, if it's December 23rd and, and you've waited that long, it's 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 your fault at that point, you know? And uh, she said, yeah, waited to, she waited till the fifth hour <laughs> instead of the 25th hour. Yeah. I'm a part-time worker. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I'm, day, I'm, I'm part-time. I only eh. work half a day. It's the fifth hour. I'm out of here. Or I'm that's gone. all the work she puts in for the day. Yeah. Like you're only getting four good hours out of me. So did you laugh at her too, or what did you? That one, no. I held. I was able to contain my laughter because I was sort of like the one talking to her. I, I wasn't. See. I wasn't a bystander. I had. A, I used to smoke cigarettes uh, at one of my jobs with a girl, and she told me that she. I forget what she was trying to. She was trying to cure some ailment, and she said she. Uh, what she went to say was she was seeing a hol- holistic practitioner, holistic doctor. And she said a holocaustic oh, doctor. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's a different, you know. Yeah. So I, like, I just like this when they're... Uh, Would that be a doctor that was into the Holocaust or... Oh, I was thinking Mangala. That was the thing that popped right into my mind. Dr. What's Mangala. That? Oh. Jo- Joseph Mangala. I don't know. I don't know that. He's the guy that would um, take um, twins and try to remove their eyeballs and put them in each other. He did all sorts of horrible... Oh really? Human I've experiments. I've never heard that. We should do a whole episode about it's it's he's like atrocious. That's he's one disturbing. of those guys that. How did he yeah, not go to jail? He escaped to uh, Brazil or Argentina. We can't remember which one. They're fine with that there. <laughs> well, he assumed a new identity and stuff. And they never found him. I think he got away. I think he was one of the ones that got away. I might. You be can wrong. stop. No. You can stop doing that. It seems like something you wouldn't be able to turn off. You mean just go back to being a regular doctor? Yeah, like if you're into that stuff, and then all of a sudden you're just going to be like, yeah, hey, come here, here's some cough medicine. You want to take, yeah, take two aspirin. I I don't know what he... So he was a Nazi. Right. Yeah, he was, uh, he was, a, he was uh, like, he, and they called him the angel of death. He would say, so say, oh, he would yes. stand above everybody walking in, and he had a white lab coat on, and, and pick people out that he was going to run their experiments on. Imagine yeah. how terrifying <laughs> those people there has not been i mean i'm sure there has but that they were just awful that you could do anything like that to another human so you should have told her you should not go to that kind of a doctor <laughs> you should stay away from raymond mangala did no, no, you ever not... did you ever <clears throat> see her again after the after she had her eyes ripped out and <laughs> no just after yeah. that date she was ditzy she was she she is the type of person that you would expect to stay to say that if you have a, a, a or not to read the signs, if that was the actual. <laughs> well, I don't know if she's the type of person that could get hornswoggled into. Uh, I like that hornswoggled. Actually, <laughs> actually going to a whole, whole acoustic doctor, maybe she could. She was kind of dumb. She was very ditzy. Cute, okay. Very pretty, very ditzy. Mm. Fun to smoke cigarettes with. Maybe you yeah, feel you like got, I would do You got same. someone behind you. Oh, Jesus. So, Dad, what I'm thinking is that, um, first of all, look at this lovely penguin artwork. <laughs> no one can see it. It's a blank white screen right now. Uh, what? <laughs> look at this. I created this on Procreate. The camera's right here. I created this on Procreate. Oh, that's, that's cool. good, right? And I yeah. think that Dad should it's... let me create more. That would mean... Uh, maybe I'll let Mark decide. You want to go thumbs up, thumbs down? On what? But Emma has a time limit on her iPad also that I put on, yeah. but it's past the time limit. Will, so she's coming to ask me for extra time. Will it get her out of the room right now? <laughs> Mark asked if it would get you out of the room right now. Yes, <laughs> it would. It would. All right, give, me, give me it, Mark. Give me the two uh, thumbs two up. Thumbs up. Okay. You this would work because I knew you guys would want me to leave, and then you would just give it to me. What do I just give you? Fifteen minutes? No, please an hour. Please that. Thirty, at least thirty. Okay. All right, love you. Love you too. <laughs> That's your par- uh, parent corner for the. For I the like apps. it. Joan and Ross. I like the real life. Jerry the best stuff. step. The best part is the app. She's Emma comes in, and says, "Dad, can I get this app? It's called Procreate." <laughs> <laughs> what do you? She's like, it costs $13. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but it's some it's some art app. But the title two, is... Ter- two different, was it two different words or is it is it no, one word? No, one word. 
terrible title. Because <laughs> then she's like, let me, I'll go on the on the web and I'll search it. Dad, I want to procreate. I'll search it for you. I'm like, no, I'll look for it. That's the last thing I need you searching. Procreate on the internet and see what comes up. Oh, that's great. All right, you want to do that some uh, Sisk stories? Yeah, go for it. All right. Sisk, Sisk stories. stories. I know we did it last week, but I found there's some another good. These are a little less intense, dear Mugas, but more people need Ooh. advice. Okay. First one. My mom just told me out of nowhere. I'm sorry, dear Muga. My mom just told me out of nowhere that she got rid of my turtles. Did you say mum as if you're yes. British? Okay. Yes. I think this is from a British listener. That's, not, that's important. They are domesticated. Raised by me in a pond in my house. I raised them myself since I was just a little boy. Now I just got a call from my mom saying she released them into the wild <laughs> because no one can take care of for them anymore. I'm furious because they are domesticated. I doubt they have the skills to survive out there. I shouted at my mom, what the hell, mom, sorry. What the hell were you thinking? Can you do a British accent? What the hell were you thinking? No, that's not what <laughs> I can't even think of it now, right now. <laughs> Coming out, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Very good. That wasn't good. <laughs> and she claimed she didn't know and did what she thought was best. To which I replied, ask me. Ask me what I wanted to happen to them. What made you think putting domesticated turtles into the wild was a good idea? Now both me and my mom feel awful. Me mom. My you should say me mom. It says mine, but okay. Currently, me mom is feeling extremely <laughs> guilty, and I'm taking time to process all this. I'm so angry, but I feel ba bad for yelling because me mom had good intentions. What am I going to do? And there's a couple uh, postscripts. One, I'm 17 years old and was just away for a few days. <laughs> and two, mom is crying now. She said... I only thought they'll love freedom. His turtles are like, um, what was William Wallace? What was that movie? Braveheart. Freedom, yes. Freedom! Do you really think his mom was that dumb? Like the cheese? Sounds like, well, are you saying there was more to the story? Well, that like she the, just the, thought the mom she could wanted like the, the thing turtle. gone? Yeah. She saw he was gone a few days. Well, I mean, they're going to be fine, right? I don't she, think so. You... I mean, he said they're domesticated. What are you going to. I don't know. Do turtles get domesticated? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. like, what if Lily went out? Do you think Lily would survive? What do you think? Like, would she know how to get food and stuff? Yeah, she could become like a feral cat, I bet. She can yeah. kill. But probably like, in that transition, there's a chance of it yeah. doesn't go well. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it's funny that she he was only away for the weekend when she did this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he even said they have a gardener who feeds and takes care of them while I'm away. So maybe the, <laughs> the gardener was off and the mom was like, screw this. I'm just going to let him out. I, I feel like there's 17. something missing from the story. And I think you both should be able to get over it. So I feel bad that I made you cry, mom. Please ask me next time the life of an animal is at stake when you make a decision like this. I'm only gone for two days. How much are turtles? About fifteen hundred bucks a piece. <laughs> yeah, nice. I'm just saying, couldn't he just go get some more and call his mom's bluff? I doubt they're very expensive. Yeah, I think you could just call her bluff. And they move really slow. You, you guys, you British <laughs> people know that. Think Why don't you could have caught him. Tell your, have your mom tell you where they, where she, where Two she freed them. Start, mom, how am I? Oh wait, they're just over here in the other part of the yard. Oh, they're still in the yard. Yeah, maybe you didn't go look for them. I should have written that in the comment. That's our advice. All right, go look for them first. If not, ask your mom for you fifty can... bucks. <laughs> Dear Muga, can can you point me in the right direction? I need a copy of the episode of The Price is Right that aired on October 16, 2018. I have subscription services that include the show, but episodes this old are unavailable. What do I do? Wait, what was the year? 2013 or 2018? 2018. Episodes that old? They don't. They don't I log. Don't I guess not. I didn't read. <laughs> Let's help this guy. <laughs> Let's try to help this guy. 
Wait, wait, wait. You wait, haven't I, tried I to help anyone yet? Is that... <laughs> no, no. This is the first guy I want. All right, so I kind of stopped. I started laughing too hard, and I didn't. I don't know what was what was he asking her advice, just how to find it. He needs a copy of, of the that episode ep- that aired on October sixteenth, twenty eighteen. I will start. That's not even a Bob Barker episode, I don't think. Who's the host now? Drew, Drew Carey. Carey. Yeah, I'll, I'll start emailing people. Um, so you're gonna get it done? Yeah, let's help this guy out. Like you're like Santa right now. Yeah. You're getting episodes yeah. and turtles. I bought a I bought a, a Christmas uh, I bought a Christmas present for a guy that for just for no reason at all. Just a guy uh that I know I was wearing a hat and he liked was it, it. Because of our last week's episode about doing kind things to people? Yes. Okay. I listened to you I, I, your voice rang in my head. I like that. Um he just he complimented a hat that I had on twice. I saw him twice in the same week and he complimented he was like, oh, I really do like that hat. So I got him. So I bought. So I bought him a hat. Came in the. What was his reaction? I, no, no, I haven't given it to him yet. Oh yeah. I haven't seen him yet. I always love people's. Re- I'm so bad. It's the guy that looks exactly like me. Getting gift reaction. Oh, you could do a photo with him. You yeah. do a photo. Yeah. You and him with the hat. Except I don't have. Yeah, I we'll have to make sure. Do have to wear that hat like every day now for until Just I see him. Just leave it in your store, and then you could put yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to wear it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I run into him in weird places. He lives where I live, but yeah. So but you're I not just, gonna give. You're only gonna give it to him. When are you gonna give it to him? I just have it in my truck. I don't know. I just oh, put it in so my truck. So leave both whatever. hats in the truck then. Oh, there leave you go. Leave the hat where the gift hat is. So Jared, you're the smartest <laughs> fucking guy I've ever. I knew there was some solution to Good how. Job. How I'm like, you have to give him the hat. I was gonna write in a dear Muga about my situation. <laughs> have, have a hat. I want to give someone. <laughs> But I want to get a picture with me having the hat on, too. But I don't like wearing the same hat every day. <laughs> what do I do? Dear Jared. I like it. Oh, all right. There's this, this is another scenario for you. An Arkansas City elect an, elected an 18-year-old as the youngest black mayor in the United States. <laughs> He won the election, so it's the town of Earl, Arkansas, population 1,800, and he won 235 to 183. He beat Nemi Matthews, the city street and sanitation superintendent. The kid said, I didn't want to be 30 or 40 and become a mayor when I could be one right now. Smith credited younger voters, having proved his credentials to them, (laughs) by negotiating a deal with a high school cafeteria vendor, among other issues. So, I don't know what he... Why did you lean into the mic like that? I don't know. What, is, what, could, what deal did he negotiate with a high school cafeteria vendor to, like, um, get soda in the machine or something? Yeah. Maybe the jello with the fruit? Maybe some fruit oh, jello? Oh, yeah. Yeah, extra fruit jellos. Fruit jello Friday. Two, buy one, get one free fruit jello. Wow, free, too? Buy one, get one. All right, so he has the end of this. That's the whole story. But the end tells what his goals are for being mayor. So I just want you to go back to 18-year-old Mark Einloth. You weren't moving yet then. No. And you're elected mayor of Cheshire, Connecticut. What's on your po- like policy? Pro- like, seriously, just the back to yourself when you were 18. And all what of did sudden, I care about? You're mayor, yeah. What the hell? Like, what would be on your mind? We're going to need a second basketball court over at uh, uh, McNamara Field. Okay, so there's only one there now. One there now. Sometimes it's busy when I get over there, so I'd rather there be another hoop for me to so shoot So that's on. just for you. Well, other people could use it too. But yeah. if you show up, do they have to It's mainly out? for me, but other yeah. – no, 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 no. It's not my court, no. I no. see. It's everybody's court. I see. I just want a second court to shoot on when I go over so there. So if that one gets busy, you think you might add a third court or – uh, no. Well, maybe. It depends on how many terms I serve. <laughs> you don't want to spend that much money in the first I don't want to overstep my boundaries. No. Let's see. All right, so basketball court, what else? Yeah, extra basketball court at McNamara Field. Uh, legalized uh, dirt bikes on the streets. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you can be underage and ride dirt bikes on the streets. I feel like that's sure. not going to be too pop. I mean, be you think underage dirt bikers vote? 
Well, and we just used to have to run from the cops on dirt bikes and stuff sometimes. Why don't you just and... make a dirt bike park next to McNamara Field? It's not a bad idea. Okay. But I still want to be able to ride around town on my dirt bike. Okay. How about a like a teen center? We Did already got somewhere? one. I already have one. How about legalizing prostitution? Wow. Just going all in with that? Are you a lap? That is mayor. I think so. I didn't have much. I didn't have much uh, luck with the ladies when I was 18 years I old. See. So I think. Are you going to run on that or just put that in after? Uh, oof, that's a good question. Let me talk to my attorneys and my. Uh, I see. My campaign manager. I really, just want to talk to the pollsters. Yeah. That's how it polls. Like, does prostitution legalization poll well with voters? What about dirt bike? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know what the word would be. I feel like the court one is going to be your most popular one. Basketball court? But not like people Pretty wholesome. that much. And then put a, a brothel right next to the basketball court. Interesting. Yeah. So you're I'm like just, tired after. I'll make McNamara forward. Park. I'll make <laughs> McNamara Park the really cool part of town. It's like the Vegas of Cheshire. Does Cheshire have their own police department? Uh, not when I'm mad. Oh, you're, just, you're getting rid of the poli- oh. We're, I'm, I'm For <laughs> hire? Martial like law. A-team? No, I'm just going to declare martial law. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know if that's going to go over very well. Well, you elected me. Sorry. It's four years of terror now. I think mayor's two years. Yeah, but I negotiate. That's the first, my first uh, point of order. <laughs> it's to double my power. <laughs> All right. Do you want to hear what... Uh, Jalen Smith is going to do. Said he's going to move the city's police department to a 24-hour operation. So more police time. Ridding Earl of abandoned homes. Creating jobs for city youth. And providing transportation for elderly or infirm residents to grocery stores. And the kids got to go to high school at the same time. I'm a much more... Yeah. He's not going to get any of those things done. No. Maybe the 24-hour well, police thing, but... I think I'm going to get McNamara... What are we, we going to call that little area in Cheshire? <laughs> Einlaw Fun nah, I Zone? Don't my I don't like things with my name. I don't, I'm I the opposite of that. What was it called uh, in Boston? The Combat Zone? Yeah. Something like yeah. that? Yeah. The Cheshire <laughs> Combat pretty... Zone? Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. They did change the, the little feel of Cheshire a little bit. Yeah, so this guy, I mean, he's mayor. You should, I guess you should have run for mayor. I bet you could build a brothel, basketball court, dirt bike park. Yeah, but those are my, uh, those are my passions not anymore. anymore. I see. Now I'm more into the podcasting thing. <laughs> um, nice. Uh, I like how it all revolves around you and both. Raising orchids. <laughs> <laughs> what, my, my mayorship? Yeah. Yeah, well, what would I? What do you want me to do? Think about everybody else? No. If I make myself smart, happy, yeah, out there. If I make myself so happy, say I'll probably make like, others happy. You know, rid the town of abandoned. Like probably the last mayor is like, no sh. Yeah, it's not that easy, dumb dumbass. Yeah. High school kid. The sanitation guy's like, what do you think? We like the abandoned homes that are in town. Do you, we don't like do the you got, I thought you jobs? did. No. You, you <laughs> yeah. don't like. You also don't like. Okay, well, let's just burn them down. <laughs> Just I mean, create jobs yeah. for the youth. That's the youth jobs. Arsonists. Youth jobs. No, they paid arsonists. It's just like fires running rampant. They say if you love your job, you'd never work a day in your life. And wouldn't okay. it be fun to be a professional arsonist? I think arson is the illegal thing, so it's probably a professional fire starter. Starter. Um, this was one for us, really. So I don't even know if you'll put in. Okay. This was in the New York Times. This is a question. It said, I'm a man in my 50s, so not us yet. Mm-hmm. And have noticed hair sprouting in weird places, like tops and inside of my ears and in my nose. Is this normal? Why does this happen? How can I get rid of it? So it said, rest assured, this is a normal part of aging. Do you have weird hair? I get, a, I get, I get ones that come out of my nose in the front. Yeah. And I sometimes get them on my ears, too, like he was saying. My ears are going crazy lately. Do you get them, do you get hairs that grow, like your beard hairs up near your eyes, like, yeah. like way up here? Yeah. Like a little, well, not that high, but yeah, there is, I have to I shave get them like, right now. Yeah. 
Uh, it says the short answer is has a lot to do with testosterone and genetics. Yeah, we're f-ing just manly as hell. So it says during puberty, androgens such as testosterone trigger hair follicles on the face, chest, underarms, and pubic area, <laughs> replacing existing short, light hairs with thicker, darker hairs. As men age, testosterone pubes effect, get gray. Effect on hair growth may start to become apparent in new, sometimes perplexing ways. So one of the ways, this is what I thought was most interesting, parts of your body that um, you may not have realized, so not this isn't it yet, you have realized that have hair follicles like the top of your nose or your earlobes can become sensitive to the testosterone that's been building for years. So that's what's happening to us. Paradoxically, testosterone can have the opposite effect on your scalp. So scalp hairs fall out if you have high testosterone. That's my my ex girlfriend told me that because I, I always wear a hat. manly man. You lose your f-ing hair. That's I've known yeah. I've known that for like five years now. I'm like I've and then I totally bought into it. I was like absolutely. That's exactly why I don't have any hair because it looks so goddamn manly. It says one hypothesis he said is that baldness or ear hair may be seen as a sign of high testosterone and virility. Yeah. And they're shown to be viable mates. So it showed. You know who the coolest guy in this place is? The guy with all that <laughs> hair hanging out of his nose and puffing out of his ears. The so bald you, guy. The bald the, guy? Yeah, the bald guy. That in I the got. old days, at the 40s and 50s, and the ladies are like, can this guy still have kids? They're like, wow. He's got uh-huh. a lot of ear hair and nose hair and no hair on his head. But his pubes are awesome. That guy is still going to drive it home. All right. Well, I just I knew that was short, and I knew we were on ahead. I thought you'd enjoy that. Theme song by Maggie Yellox. Email Muga and Cisco at gmail.com. We didn't get any emails this week. Just email. Even with the great emails last week. Um, Instagram and Twitter, the Magroom Pod still still exist. On fire. Yeah. Thank you. My aunt is really the only one who likes our Instagram <laughs> every week. I even Thank like you. people. Is that Aunt Donna? Yeah. Thank you, Adonna. I even she doesn't even listen to the show. She just likes <laughs> our Instagram. And I like she listened like two episodes and when Paul was on. But she's like, I don't know. I didn't like it. She's retired. I don't know. She doesn't have time or Oh, that's great. Um But yeah, she likes she always likes it. All right, and we got the festival still going. I mean, you sound um, a little more down on it this week. No, no, no. I actually came up with a fantastic idea this week that I'm not going to tell you about. That. Okay, great. And I already looked. I already priced it out. It's not too expensive. Wow. All I'm right. I'm kind of excited. I'm excited. I, I, I want to get maybe one more idea from... Maybe I'll p- put this out there for people to email. I'm having a party at my house. I want to make it kind of like a festival. That's the whole point of this thing. Yep. Give me some. Give me one... I have a few different festival type of things, stations, games, whatever that I have in my mind and I think I've kind of got a, a way to do it and I kind of I'm thinking about doing one more so I have like okay. maybe like three things I wanted to get four uh, or something like that so think of like uh, just something like um, bouncy house yeah I just that's not, a little not. too childish but sure that, in that vein or maybe like one of those trampoline uh, that seems danger I don't know I don't want to I do really that. want something where there's a chance of danger uh, how, about we burn, I, how about we burn a bunch of stuff? Uh, well, that's on the menu for sure. I have two okay. fire pits in my yard, yes. All right, and then this week, as you build the Christmas, remember, stick with the mag room, and everything else is cream cheese. Ooh, ooh, I like mag room. I like mag room. Ooh, ooh, mag room is good. Mag room is good. Ooh, ooh, I like mag room. I like mag room. Ooh, 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 my groom is good. My groom is good. The my groom's good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. What are you wearing? <laughs>